Hello and welcome to the sixth episode of the 2022-2023 season of Sycamore Junior High School Daily Video Announcements. Today is Tuesday, September 13th and now for your daily news and helpful school information. I'm Emily. And hi, I'm Violet. Let's all stand, place our hand over our heart, and honor our country as we all say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Okay, mark your calendars. Tonight is the in-person face-to-face junior high open house from 6 to 8 p.m. The event is split into two sessions by how, by the alphabet. If you your last name begins with A through K, your parent or guardian will visit the 6 p.m. to 6.45 p.m., then a parking exchange time. And then last name set L to Z will visit from 7.15 to 8 p.m. If parents or guardians cannot make the the live event, they have the option to visit our teacher's open house videos located on our class websites. Also, this Thursday, September 15th, is another of our school-wide support nights for our cross-country teams at 5 p.m. at Weller Park. I hope I can make it. Me too. I love cheering on our aviators. Yes. Now a special map schedule mention to prepare us for next week on Tuesday, September 20th, and Wednesday, the 21st. We will have our first of the year, two hour long language arts and math map testing tomorrow mornings where Flex Bell is eliminated and Fourth Bell, which is when news crew meets, moves to later in the day following Fifth Bell. Therefore, we will not have time to create the video announcements on those days. We will miss you. Next up, National Day! Today is National Fortune Cookie Day. As far back as the 19th century, a cookie very similar in appearance to the modern fortune cookie was made in Kyoto, Japan. And there is a Japanese temple tradition of random fortune co cookies called Yomikitu. The fortune is a slip of paper in the cookie which usually contains a vague prophecy and may also include a Chinese phrase with translation and a list of lucky numbers. I love fortune cookies. My lucky number is nine. Now for our students and athletes of the week. Good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure to announce this week's Sycamore Junior High Students of the Week. So when our first one come up, this would be Samarth. Rao Hemoji Rao. Rao Hemoji Rao, okay? And he was picked by Mrs. Adams, all right? So congratulations, Samarth. Here is your certificate and a little Chick-fil-A action there. Thank all you. right? There we go. Our next student of the week is Savannah Terab. And she was nominated by Mrs. Beatty. All right, congratulations. You're welcome. All right, there's your certificate, and there's your chick fil All right. And the last one. Is there a recount for this or whatever? No, I'm just kidding. All right. Our last one is Lily Cole, and she was nominated by Mrs. Abbas Lee. So, congratulations, dear. All of our students of the week, there's your Chick-fil-A, are nominated as students of the week for being safe, for being responsible, being problem solvers, and being respectful. So give it up for our students of the week. Congratulations. Huh? All right, now we're doing our athletes of the week. All right, so our athletes of the week, our first athlete of the week is Elena Vigari. All right, and Elena is from the seventh grade green volleyball team. Is that right? All right, and she was nominated by Coach Steedley. She, uh, Elena is nominated because she's willing to set up equipment. She takes down equipment and helps the coach um, as he's on a scooter. So she's helping him out, all right? She's very, very positive in practice, matches, and working hard to improve her serve. So there's your write-up and there's your certificate. Congratulations. You. You're welcome. All right, our next one is Gracie Gall. And Gracie is from the 8th grade green volleyball team, all right? And Gracie plays outside hitter and setter and has also taken a leadership role on the court. She is quick to celebrate her teammates and encourage them if they make a mistake. She regularly uh, helps direct others on where to line up and position themselves, but in a kind, supporting way. I guess I need some help with that one, all right? She has been a huge asset to our team. So she was nominated by Coach Cooper, so congratulations. 
copper. It says cooper on there. It's, it's wrong. It's wrong. Okay, I just read what they tell me, girl. All right, so congratulations, Gracie. All right, our next student of the week is Zachary Branham. All right, and Zachary is our seventh grade football. All right, and Zachary plays running back and linebacker on the A Raider football team. He gives his best effort in practicing games. He's a very intelligent football player who not only knows his alignment assignment, but knows what each position around him should do. He listens to coaches, coaching and then does what the coaches tell him to do. He's done a phenomenal job of leading the Sycamore Aviator football team. Keep up the good work, and you will be very successful on and off the field and in the future. All right, congratulations, Zachary. Good job, buddy. There we go. And last but certainly not least, come on, Jada. All right. Jada Mead, and Jada Mead is the Athlete of the Week for 8th grade cheerleading. Sit up. There you go. She has been, Jada's been working very hard. She is loud and enthusiastic. I don't know if they should say loud. I think they should say vocal, but that's okay. <laughs> She's been very helpful and positive when asked to take on other responsibilities. She's worked on developing her tumbles, tumbling skills and is a great asset to our competition squad as well. So we're very uh, proud to name Jada as our Athlete of the Week, and that's from Coach Stacy. So congratulations, Jada. All right, there you go. All right, that's your Student of the Week and Athletes of the Week. Congratulations. Hey, it's our first survey of the year. If you want your flex class on video announcements, please fill out the survey on your communications Google Classroom. If you are not familiar with our Google Classroom, it is a way for us to communicate with each other. It's filled with fun surveys, contests, feedback, and more. Yes, we look forward to your input and interactions to help us out. The SJH Communications Classroom Code is OZUJS35, right here. We are currently looking for FlexBell class volunteers to lead our fifth bell groups in the Pledge of Allegiance. If you are interested again, the Google Classroom Code is OZUJS35. As you can see on the screen below, and just click on the Classroom tab to locate and complete the Pledge participation form. Please join the Google Classroom and under the Classwork section is a, is a section called Participation Features, which contains the Pledge of Allegiance Google Form. How awesome is that? Make sure to fill out your name and your flex spell teacher's name for us to come film your group. Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to Aiden P, Reese B, and Allison B. Now to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily announcements. All right, are you a boy at Sycamore Junior High who wants to try something new and be part of a winning team? Then Boy Choir may be for you. Boy Choir will meet this Thursday for the first time this year, this Thursday at 7.15 a.m. in the choir room. You want to be dropped off at the main door, that is door number one, and come straight to the choir room. You will have two chances to join Boy Choir, this week and next week. After that, you can't join anymore. If you have questions, see Mrs. Stein or Mr. Callahan. Donuts will be served, and hey, that's a reason to go anyway, right? Student council applications are due this Friday to Mrs. Manning in the counseling office. So if you want to be a part of student council, get those applications in to Mrs. Manning by Friday at 3 o'clock. That's it for me. You guys have a great day. Enjoy your Tuesday. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Next, we have the joke of the day. Why do you tell actors to break a leg? I don't know. Why? Because every play has a cast. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a wrap for today's video announcements. See you tomorrow. Have a great day, Sycamore. Go Waves! Waves!